So you guys might be wondering why I'm fighting the Time Demon again. Turns out to find seven of the chariot cards, it entails playing all the main dungeons and fighting the, the bosses again, including fighting the Time Demon for a third time. That is horrendously uncreative and tedious. And that meant I had to fight the Blob and the Ice Dragon again. Oh, I'm not gonna use it again. But the Ice Dragon fight went a lot better. Well, not at first, but when his weak spot started showing, it did. And you guys know why. Um, I finally equipped Lotte's Spirit Bomb attack, and Lotte's Spirit Bomb was super useful in that Ice Dragon fight. Especially since she used it at the right times. And given how bad the AI is in this game, that was very lucky and very impressive. She did it not once, but twice, and she scored the finishing blow on the Ice Dragon. That was just beautiful. And yes, I've been equipping the weak members with accessories, and they are faring a lot better now. Especially Lotte. Yeah, I don't think I equipped any for Amanda, which is why she kept dying, but Susie, Susie has been super helpful. Yeah. If only I knew about accessories beforehand, we could have gotten through this game a lot faster. The, and the only thing you guys missed was a pointless cutscene where Ursula meets Akio be beside the door. And she suggests using the shiny rod, then Akio uses the shiny art for no reason, and it does absolutely nothing, so... That was all you guys missed. Just a pointless cutscene. Like, when I was replaying these dungeons with weaker members, they scored like... six... They went up like six levels. Well, for the first dungeon, anyway. And that was just super cool. Zeusy, feel free to attack, except when he is no longer vulnerable. Oh, Zeusy, yeah, that's how you be useful, girl. We're just scoring massive damage off this guy. He is so weak for a time demon. Susie, so wrong time to use a bow. Cool. Now we gotta do it again because he's in level 2 mode. No, from this angle, he actually looks like Iblis from Sonic 2006. You know. Well, Illus didn't have horns, but his redness makes him look like Illus, and the fact that he attacks from a distance. Well, you know what this calls for? Good old shiny arc. And that kills him. Lovely. Alright, we... I just replayed the seven dungeons. What's going to happen now? Oh, uh, one more thing. You guys know that walkway that's above the cafeteria? There's actually a Nightfall book at the end of it, so... Yeah, I got a Nightfall book off screen. Yeah, 
No more super level ups at this point. I got the Bound Giant card! By the way, the first dungeon, uh, Canopus, I think, that had the, um... Had the, um, the Shiny Rod card. So, now that we did that, there's something going on in the entrance. Beautiful. That's the person I wanted to see. Can I help you with something? Have you seen Professor Ursula? No? Did you need her for anything in particular? <laughs> Look at that! Why is she scowling like that? The package address of her arrived. Perhaps you could pass it on to Professor Ursula for me. I guess I could do that. What's appreciated? Perfect. Now I gotta go all the way to the observatory! Thankfully, I have one last teleporter. Headmiss asked me to give you this, Professor Ursula. I wonder what it could be. It's the latest issue of Astrology Monthly. Is that a magazine? Yes, it has all the latest astrology news. Look, there's even a series of articles by the popular London fortune teller, Michelle, who's a former Luna Nova. Oh, what's this? Oh, the Grand Triskelion! Nice! Is that... I wonder what was doing, what that was doing in there. Don't uh, mention it. All right, that's convenient. Question is, where's the fun? And we still gotta talk to her. Something wrong. I'm just looking for my cherry cards. Have you seen any in here? <laughs> We just found one! I mean, now you're just gonna ask him if she's seen one here. I don't think so. Hmm? What is it? There! And the birdie found one. Perfect. That's Sherry's familiar. Hooray! I'm uh, glad you found what you were looking for. Yeah, you were super convenient, Ursula. Thanks, Professor! Um, is this one of your familiars? Yes, that's right. Wow, it's so cool! Magic within. Alright, now we gotta turn to the chamber, and I gotta walk there. So yeah, that was just super lazy. That had to replay the... Seven levels again, which I've kind of already been doing this whole game. Especially since you had to, um, fight the Time Demon twice anyway for the main quest. Oh boy. Shot my controller. Mm -hmm. Right, so I got plenty of spells sent out of this deal. The way I admire girls like Isabel. She's like a mom and a big sister are all rolled into one. Really broad-minded, you know? Okay. Why, Amanda? You're not going home for the summer, Amanda? Why would I do that? Almost everyone else is. No thanks. I don't need my family constantly on my case. Yeah, Amanda's mysterious backstory that may have been hinted in the manga. Huh. I'd really like to get to know more about that, you know? You got like 50 of them? Jeez. I'm gonna get one of everything.
We never had to use the invisibility potion for any main quest stuff yet. Alright, this time for sure! Just a second. Are you sure you're not leaving anything undone? You're positive you're ready for this? No. Oh man, I forgot something! Alright, hurry up and get it! Alright, so we're at the point of no return, and they had to block that for some reason. So I might as well equip all my stuff. Alright? Ooh, Su that's, that's Susie's world. Ooh, we gotta get that. Other way now. Ah, <laughs> nice. Alright, let's equip Susie's world. Susie is perfectly even. Amanda's perfectly even. Nonsense is not. <laughs> and now Constance is perfectly even. <laughs> Haven't used just me and Diana this whole time because they're overpowered. Alright, now we'll go. Yes. I'm sure! Will you be okay on your own? You I should go with, go with you after all. Thanks, Professor. But this is our problem to solve. Besides, we're just going to bring back a friend. Alright, I trust you. Okay, let's do this! Same animation for the special attack. That's, that's perfect. All I want was to live a normal, happy life here. I'll leave you here without you, Molly. Please, everyone, I need your help. Okay, so this... I didn't expect it to just force us into the fight. But it don't matter. I don't mind using, uh... Using this pair. Well, Amanda... Amanda, I don't think I equipped any accessories for her, so she's kind of screwed. Let me go, please. Right, hacker? Okay. Seems like I can damage uh, her now. So yeah, typical bosses and magic RPGs, they use every type of elemental spell. And that includes my Gameverse series. Like, 
Final bosses all I are always multi benders. What, what are these? What are those little crystals? Okay. I guess just stay away from the crystals because they they already killed Amanda. You bastards. Ugh. Should I be quit Diana and just Mika? What sucks is the boss is airborne, so if we can't use our use our spells when we're in midair. So it really sucks. This is gonna this fight is gonna drag on, I can feel it. I'm gonna just heal Susie up. Yeah, Susie has Susie World now. I don't know. I don't know if she can use it. Well, if she has enough magic to use it, she's got like over four, four hundred and a half for magic. So, good attack, Susie, not me. I'm the only one who can damage you, pretty much. Oh, and she can also summon enemies. That's gonna be a pain. All right, we get to see Susie World. Question is, will this have any effect? She's so adorable. Okay, that was massively effective. I like it. It's a. Uh, Attacks everything in the area. It killed the enemies and it uh, took out a chunk of Molly's health. Oh, so we can damage the crystals. Good to know. So I'm not sure how it works though. Can we? Do we just keep damaging them and they eventually they get destroyed, or do we have to damage them with um, the opposite element or the same element? I don't know how that works. I really wish I could use the shiny arc against her, but she's too high up. If there were a way to bring her to ground level, that'd be another story. It seems like damaging the crystals doesn't really do anything. I can already see this fight is going to drag on for eons. Unless, of course, uh, Susie's uh, Susie World recharges and she makes effective use of it. Then we might be able to get somewhere with this. I tried to use Shiny Rod in midair, but it, it didn't work, so that answer. Yeah, Shiny shiny Arc really will not help you in this fight. And attacking her power crystals is utterly pointless. Susie, I'd really like to keep you alive because you have a very. Your special attack can be a huge help in this fight. Unless, of course, you used it on the fodder. So I should probably take out these monsters real quick, like. 
Almost all of her attacks can stun you. That makes this even worse. I was wondering if Shiny Rock could actually attack the tail, but I, I guess I don't have enough. Yeah, I don't, I don't even have enough magic to use a Shiny Rod. You know, it seems like I can actually barely reach the tail when it's hanging like that, so if I get a good shot, I probably could use a shiny rod. Now you can obviously tell which crystal will attack based on which which um, arm she uses, because, you know, they're color-coded. What's really weird is that there's a dark red and a bright red, and the bright red obviously resembles the yellow gem, but why couldn't they just make it a yellow um, crystal? Alright, I'm just... This is going to be a huge gamble, but I'm going to see if it works. Wow, that totally worked! And we're already getting into cherry music, wow! Okay. I just discovered an extremely helpful trick for this fight, and it's gonna make it go a lot faster. Well, depending on how long it takes the shiny rod to charge up again. Although, it looks like she's going into phase two now, and Susie's dead, so there goes Susie World. Wow, whoa, that, wait. I can't even, I can't damage her now? Seriously? What am I, okay, what am I supposed to do now? I can't damage her. Um, magic doesn't work. Do I just get to keep beating the crystals? I don't even seem like I'm doing anything to the crystals. That was the wrong spell. Wow. What even am I supposed to do? Nothing is working. Do I really just gotta keep damaging the crystals? There's no indication how much health they're losing.
how is one supposed to damage this whole bag? Oh yeah, she can heal herself, but even then... It's gonna use a shiny arc, but I don't have nearly enough magic. Maybe yeah, I should use a shiny arc again, I don't know. I'll just wait for um, Shiny Arc to charge up, then I'm going to attack her. Well, not, well, not Shiny Arc, so this is my own magic. Literally making zero sense, honestly. I should also heal myself, but you know what? I'm not going to heal myself. If I die, I'm just going to look up how to beat this boss. See you after I look at how to beat this bitch. At least I got some experience out of that. All the uh, little enemies I killed. Oh yeah, that, was, that whole thing was a block scene. Um, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch out Amanda. I'm gonna. Switch her out for, um... Switch her out for Lote just because of Lote's special attack. Spirit Bomb. Because, like, their special attacks are the only way they're gonna damage this girl. So, um... I guess I'll see you once I find the solution. 